You're listening to KEXP. You can find us at 90.3 FM in Seattle and online around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and I am very excited to welcome Daughter back to the KEXP Airwaves. Thank you so much for coming into our new home. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So wonderful to have you and your brand new album, Not to Disappear, absolutely magnificent. Are you going to play songs from that today? Yes, exclusively. Huh? <laughs> wonderful. Take it away.
Absolutely beautiful. We've got Daughter live in the KEXP studios, the new album, Not to Disappear. Absolutely magnificent. We've got Daughter live in the KEXP studios. Not to Disappear is the brand new album. And it's so wonderful to have you here. You sound fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thank you all for coming. I'm so excited to catch up with you. We've had you live on the air a couple times before. Your last album was wildly successful and uh, people loved it across the board. I'm wondering, especially now hearing this new album, it's also so fantastic. Was there 
any kind of nervousness or trepidation going in to creating the second album after people loved the first one so much? Were you feeling nervous at all? I think we. Uh, I think there's always going to be a level of of nerves um, in making anything new, but um, we really wanted to see it as a completely new thing um, and a kind of blank canvas to work on. So um, I think the idea was to just maybe not really not think about what other people would think about what we would make or, you know, what their opinion of, I guess, what our sound is and just to experiment with lots of different um, instrumentation and stuff. So, yeah, it was a quite a freeing experience, actually, more than a, a nerve-wracking one, which is good. I imagine after so much touring and playing together, you just had a ton of ideas. Did you have a clear picture of what you wanted to make when you went in or did you just start throwing ideas out? What was the process like? It was quite throwing things around, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> we weren't totally focused at the beginning. I think we kind of wanted to just get everything out um, that we'd been sort of storing up through... Um, yeah, through touring and through just jotting down different ideas and different on different hard drives and lots of things and kind of collecting everything together. Um, and then I think, yeah, we kind of then we got into the demoing process and demoed things really extensively. Um, so I think that kind of brought us into quite a focused place. And I think we then I, felt a lot more organised this time yeah, around. <laughs> I think we definitely didn't start with a clear picture at all. And it was very much sort of finding out um, a sort of a common goal and a common thing that we wanted to like to achieve uh, but so much is dictated by the song as well but so it was just trying to find the best collection of songs that would you know make like an album that's something that was homogenous but also varied and interesting and um, uh, like Elena said we, we spent a lot of time demoing experimenting we had our own little studio in this sort of old sweet factory like a room there and just kind of just spent a year really sort of messing about and going back to old songs and new songs and trying new things and it's um it's only when we felt like we had a plan in mind like a very clear plan with each song and with the record that we um decided to go into a proper studio and record it that's wonderful it sounds like you had a lot of time and space and didn't mm. feel rushed that has to be idyllic yeah it was great actually just to well it's great and then also we're the kind of people that when we have time and space, we'll still be late. You know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> we'll still make it. It's been it like three years or whatever. Well, so. th that makes me wonder, do you trust your instincts or do you sort of overthink things, do you think? I think there's a bit of both. Bit, and yeah. sometimes you, you need to be able to backtrack and go, actually, we went too far in the original idea. We lost something like on, along the way or the just the original idea was just way better. Yeah. At least from a musical perspective, I think actually on, on this record, lyrically, Elena really sort of just went straight from the brain onto the paper with yeah. Left everything little to no editing. Unedited. Yeah. <laughs> Elena, let's talk about those lyrics. Oh. Your music really speaks to people and the music is absolutely stunning. The lyrics are so palpable and they've always been very personal. I feel on this record even more overtly yeah. personal. <laughs> What was going on for you in this record? Were you approaching it differently? Or do you not even really think about how the lyrics come? I generally don't think too much about it. Um, I'm quite, I feel like I'd, I'm not very um, organized as a, you know, my brain hasn't got many d filing cabinets. It's all like masses of ideas and weird paper <laughs> strewn everywhere. Um, so for me, like writing songs is kind of like collecting lots of things and then it all at some point will fall out um, randomly into a, yeah into lyrics um but this album felt like i was feeling quite um kind of worried that i wasn't writing the same as i was first album and eps as well and that it was more it felt a lot more conversational and less um didn't feel like I was writing songs. It felt like I was writing letters. <laughs> so it kind of was quite terrifying at first because it was really like it was just coming out really personal, really personal stuff in a very um, kind of naked way. And so, um, but I kept it like that because I think obviously this album needed to, to be like that. Um, so, yeah. I, I read in an interview where you said something that really struck me. You said that expressing your emotions isn't a weakness, but a real strength. And I'm wondering if that's something that you've always felt or if that's a confidence that's built as you've performed more and put yourself out there. I think it is a confidence that's built. Um, but I think also I've always been 
I guess I've always been a very um, like emotional person, a very sensitive one. So I've kind of used um, how overly sensitive I am <laughs> in a positive way. I think, you know, ever since I was a kid, I, I used to write things down um, and write you know, bad, you know, times or whatever as a child. Um, and I'd write them down and I'd keep them. And it was a way of kind of overcoming things was to express how I felt about them. Um, and so, yeah, it's kind of, I, I, I really, I really believe that. And I think that, you know, a lot of people m maybe sort of see, it, see us as the sad, the sad band. <laughs> and, like, and I think, but, and then sometimes in a negative way, but I, I think it's really, I think it's a positive thing to not just be a, you know, a world full of robots. I think, you know, as much as people can say I'm a wimp <laughs> about anything. She things. says with a huge smile on her face. <laughs> but I, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel, I feel like it's a, I, I, I feel like it's a, I'm, I'm kind of gaining some kind of power by expelling all of my inner thoughts and secrets to people in rooms. <laughs> well, obviously it's resonating with the <laughs> listeners and the new album, absolutely stunning. Not only a shift in the lyrics being more out front and even more personal, I feel like you sort of uh, crafted them in poetry before and now you're saying, nope, this is me saying it. Yeah. I also feel like the music is a bit more powerful and I'm curious if that's just the result of playing together so long, doing so many live shows. Definitely, yeah, yeah. I think, I think there's that. There's just, a, again, also... Like I said earlier, a lot depends on the song, and just seeing Elena's songwriting become more confident in, um, you know, its directness and its honesty just meant that also musically we could go in a place where sometimes we maybe hadn't gone before, uh, and sometimes also we'll just we'll just play with the contrast and. Although the lyrics don't necessarily call for what we're doing musically, we'll do it just to kind of put the lyrics in a different context. Um, so so there's been, there was a lot of sort of doing that and talking about that. And um, uh, in general, I think, yeah, also just from, you know, playing playing live um, uh, together has been a massive thing. You know, when we recorded If You Leave, we hadn't really played many of the songs live at all. And kind of the same thing with... Um, with uh, uh, not to disappear, but we had a lot more time to um, feel it through and make sure that dynamically we were, um, we, we it was you know right as a band uh, instead of just sort of making it up in the studio and piecing it together. Which which if you leave is very much that's very much how it was made. But um, and I think I think that that was a great thing for that one because it just feels a little bit more bedroomy and a little bit more like. Um, like a yeah, like a weird diary, <laughs> like poetic diary. <laughs> Bedroomy is the perfect yeah. um, description, I think, for that um, first record. But this one, we're just—I think—we were inspired by touring in general and just you know uh, larger cities and uh, just just the the whole the the whole experience in the past three years. Um, yeah, kind of has been big big thing for us and I think influenced our sound. I'll bet it's been an amazing journey. It's been great. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so thrilling to hear these new songs live, and it's so wonderful to have you here at KEXP. How about a couple more? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. It's Daughter Live on KEXP.
So beautiful. Daughter Live on KEXP.
I just sit in silence Let the pictures soak Daughter live on KEXP. Can you do that one over? <laughs> just want to hear it again. <laughs> That was so beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It's so wonderful to have you here. Oh, thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. It's great. Yeah. The new album, Not to Disappear, Daughter Live on KEXP Seattle. <laughs> that was so good. Yay. Oh, thank oh, thank so you. So beautiful. <laughs> Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.